White Knight so far for Charlie, just his seventh touch. Big kick. Does it beautifully. First of the night for Chaz. Blues back in front. High and long, why not, with what they've got down there. At the back, Kerno. Got his second. Got the overlap run and McGovern. He's a big hoister of the footy. Gets it airborne right to the square. Who can get on the end of this? Soccer off the ground. Kerno's got it. Goal umpire's going to have a look. But look at the teammates. They know it's a goal. Which is directly in front. Carlton get there first inside the first minute. Stingle's got to go back. Sard confronts him. Ed Kerno. Good ball for his brother. Wants to wheel and go. Charlie Kerno. Brilliant. Such an exciting play. Great view of it here. He's on. He is on Charlie Kerno. He is having a night out. Perfectly timed assault from the Blues. They link up with hands and now the kick to the 50. Sits for Kerno. You can see Mackay darting. Had the space to lead him to. Kerno had grander plans. <laughs> Charlie ignites the Blues on half time. But nothing else matters right now than Charlie Kerno going around and kicking it pure. And it means so much to him and the Blues. Flirts with the left post, but it's money in the bank for Charlie Carlton and the Royal Children's Hospital. Going the drop punts with great effect. Charlie Kerno, a pumped up blue. The Mackay Kerno factor that was a worry for North coming in, and it's starting to take full effect. For the ninth time in his career, Kerno kicks five. Blues on the march. Trying to get further distance, so he goes on the arc. It's not his natural kicking technique. Obviously, going here, going around the corner, on his opposite foot. Makes no mistake. The Blues, three in a row. Days. They need to be accurate from here if there's any chance, and Charlie is. 31 the margin. Great stretch. Blues have to take their chances this afternoon, and Charlie does. For the quick response. And then just that accident into a little bump in the end. Around the corner goes Charlie Kerno. High ball, straight ball. Charlie's got three. Charlie Kerno, 21 goals for the season. And Cole, the medalist, starts it right. And the Eagles' worst nightmare coming to fruition. The big forwards for the Blues getting it done. Almost a bit of a hook kick, if you like, and it drew Kerno back up the middle. Charlie Kerno from close range. The immediate response from Carlton. And he's got a couple. Big contested mark inside 50. He's kicked multiple goals in every game this season. Including a couple of big bags. And he's got two. Now he's got three. Great service to the forward. Charlie Kerno with three next to his name. Oh. Let's it fly. Oh. He can kick him from anywhere. The Coleman medalist. 
He's got four. Seven disposals, seven marks. As he steps around, snaps through the goal. He's thinking of a big bag tonight. Five for Charlie Kerner. Charlie Kerner, bags of seven, six oh. earlier this year. He's gone for six again. Superb stuff. Well, that was great transition of the football. Has he got this one in him? I think he has. I think he'll nail this one. Okerno, from outside 50, strikes it magnificently for an equal career high, seven goals. And Big Charlie's taken another mark inside 50. He'll step around, and Big Charlie Kerno is putting on one hell of a show. Eight goals. Rezzo at the back there. If your man goes, you have to go. Directly in front for number nine. It's a big bag for the big blue bagger. 20 goals in the last four weeks. Make it 21 in five. The hunt was on from the Blues. Motlop, eyes turned to half forward. Out comes Mackay. He's getting the hands on the ball more regularly. Making a difference. Kicks it long. Quickly that time. English was ready. And the door was ajar. And Kerno said, yeah! I want in! And that's four in a row for the Blues. One goal, one for the night. It doesn't matter right now. This is the one that counts. And he makes it count! The big blue bags, a critical goal. That is flushed. They are hanging on by a thread. Got it. The Coleman lead up. Kicks his third. Better use their advantage. 48 meter kick. Very close to the man on the mark again. Comes back nicely, kicks the goal. Gee, that was close to being smothered. Yet to kick consecutive goals tonight, the Blues. Kerno with a chance to do that. Leans on it, got it. Blues have got two in a row, back to 11. 28 minutes since the Blues' last goal. Can Kerno deliver here? He pulls one back. Will attack inside 50. Silvani one on one with McGrath. Silvani doesn't complete the mark. Has a couple in support. Kerno is one. Charlie bends it through. Gets his second. Getting some connection out of the middle. For a fifth goal of the second turn, the Blues are vibrant and loving it. Looks clean enough. <laughs> He's never missed from this position. And that's not about to change on a day like today for Charlie Curno and the Blues. 42 goals, 30 for the season. Last week here, last game here against the Gold Coast, 2-2. Splits the middle perfectly to start this afternoon for his second squeezes it in just laid off his last long kick Charlie Kerno needs to lean through this one for 45th for the season with ease and a prayer. Much better. From attacking mid, so the Blues now, that's eight possession gains from Frio's exit from their back half. Good kick to Kennedy. Wheels sends it to the pocket. Kerno, great spacing, got rid of his opponent, played on and snaps it home! 
really good structure in around the ball, win the hard ball, quick kick, play in front. Footy's pretty easy sometimes. Fremantle found some fight in this second term, but the Blues hit back, and Kurnow's got two. You almost can't run, so it's a wise idea to get off and try and get your recovery sorted. And a comfortable flight home. Ryan. Made, a, made a little bit better maybe by this result, though. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Away, Cripps. Over the top, Carlton again. Just walking their way through the Fremantle defence. And Kerno kicks another. Awkward for Cunningham. Williams to his favour. And a disadvantage once he lost his balance, though. And they go to work again. Fogarty to Koning. Probing left footer. And that time, well, they didn't have it completely sorted. Kerno gets an opportunity. Away from the Lear. And back to goal. And the Blues fans are cheering and cheering. This is for 50 goals in the season for Charlie Curdo. He's without his mate Harry Mackay, but he is leading the way up forward. Take that! Backing up his 19 possessions last week. He's got an, another victim for Mitch McGovern. It was uh, Bergman this time. Through the cracks to Fogarty. And inside 50, he was spoilt for choice. As easy as you like for Akers. And even easier for Charlie! <laughs> he dashes across the wing. Kinks towards Kerno. It's 15 all. He grubbers it. He sockers it. Is he starting with a red hot <laughs> kick? You bet he is! Kerno with the opener. For his second goal in the first eight minutes. And there's a smell of inevitability in the air already. Free-flowing ball movement, so Kelly is going to have to just be a hunter. It's a one-man show. Charlie putting on a clinic. He's got three. And he's going to go just drop changed, hunt. He's just changed his mind. Okay. In he skips. Welcome to your nightmare. West Coast Eagles hammered in the opening term at Marvel Stadium. He's lining up for number five. This is a great kick. Just absolutely perfect. And with the hook kick. Five goals and with some style points there. Ready to launch off their seats here at Marvel for a Super Six before half time. He makes it look easy. It's the Charlie Kerno show. Getting pretty about the second. He's got seven. Never kicked more than nine on the hunt for a double-figure tally. Can he get to eight? Hit him sweetly. And there's some love in the house for Charlie Curno today. He goes Dow breaking away from the congestion, kicking towards Curno. He plays on. His eyes light up from 70 out. He's got nine. He is sublime. If anyone can read a script, it's the dock. Heads long. Charlie, can he rise? Oh. Not quite. Gathers a crumb, spins it around for an all time high of 10. He's in blue heavens. For three goals in a row here to the Blues, Charlie Kerno jams it through. To answer the Josh Dacos goal. Charlie Kerno from 30. We're right behind him. Yes, he has slid that through. They respond. Marchbank pumps it from behind. Dow just on the ground. Martin's been huge. Here's Kerno for number three. Ah, this is a star we're looking at. Won the Coleman with 64 last year. He's going for goal number 65 right now. And he kicks the goal and never more important one. 23 points.
First time five against the Pies for Charlie Kerno. It's becoming a big night. For number six. Six of the big ones. Any more, especially in the absence of Harry. Look inside 50, goes towards Charlie Kerno, three to beat, it gets to the back. Akers there, puts body pressure on, still a chance. Akers, does he turn and go himself? Oh. Gives it off, Kerno snaps and goes. <laughs> Kicks for the night. Kick the first goal of the evening. Charlie's got two. The Blues have got a three goal lead. Again, if anything, slight left or right. We have only a couple of Blues to have played every game this year. 70 goals, 40 for the year. Make it 71. Akers was onto it. Doherty. Just a high ball. Made it tough for Charlie oh. Curno. Who's going to make it look easy? And Charlie's starting to come to life. He's got a couple. Mac Andrew just tiring out a little bit. He would have normally been there. Charlie for three on the trot. And the Blues are back in the contest. He looked a little bit rusty in the first quarter. Good contest between him and Ballard, but now it's well and truly settled into the game. It was the second quarter in round 14 that got the Blues' season back on track. And this second quarter has got them back on track in this game. He made a good effort there. He had to go, Ballard. Just couldn't quite get there to affect the spoil. Kerno's going to wheel and go for number oh, five. Oh, what a kick. Bread and butter for the superstar. Oh. Charlie Kerno, he's not going to wait. He has drawn level and drawn a mighty cheer. It was a brilliant surprise as he led the way and won the Coleman medal. Now he's gone back to back. He's a star for all to see. Imagine if that decides it. Kerno, he was red hot in the first quarter. He kicked two, time for a third. Doggies fans will cheer that. Robert Finlay, one of the best bouncers in the business. Tom Hickey got a hand to it. Cripps couldn't quite get it out of there. Ball ricocheting around. Cripps, fast hands, got it to Walsh. Walsh explores the 50. Turn over the target. In front was Martin. The handball over the top. Here's McCoy, shuffled it out to Kerno, dribble all on the ground. They've got two and two minutes, the Blues. The MCG's erupted. Charlie Kerno for a 10 point Carlton lead. Incredible. Blues fans said to someone earlier today, we'll kick the first four. You would have felt they were being a little cheeky. This for the first five. What is going on at the Gabba? 